Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be filming my 2023 TBR. Basically, if you don't know what that is, it's a to-be-read list. Um, I used to read a lot when I was younger. And then a few years ago, I kind of fell away from it. I didn't have really had the time for it, to be honest, which is sad because there's nothing like a good book. But towards the end of last year, I kind of fell in love with reading again. And that was all down to the book It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. And if you haven't read it, I a thousand million percent can't even speak about it recommend it um it's on another level to be honest one of my favorite books ever which is again probably because it went viral and it's quite a popular book but yeah i would really recommend reading it and i thoroughly enjoyed it but anyway that kind of made me think right okay let's make a list of books that i want to read next year because obviously this was like towards the end of last year so books that i want to read in 2023 now I've picked 13 books, I know it's not 2013 but there's no chance I'll get through 23 books this year and it's a pressure that I don't want to put on myself to try and make it happen. Don't get me wrong, I have like a lifelong bucket list of books to read um, that I probably will never get through. It's ridiculously long and I'm always adding to it which is probably worse. But anyway, I have 13 books that I have got in front of me well I've got 12 in front of me there's one that's not came yet but we'll get to that these are some of these books I've had for a long time and others that I've recently got because I want to read and I sort of tried to kind of balance it up but anyway without a doubt let's get into it so the first book that I am looking forward to reading this year is November 9th by Colleen Hoover I have three books in total including that what was four three books in total including this one that I am aiming to read this year um Colleen Hoover is probably one of if not my favorite author at the moment so I picked this up really liked the what it's about like the synopsis um and I'm looking forward to reading it I don't really know too much about it I've not wanted to find out a lot to be honest um that the order I show these books in aren't the order that I'm going to read them in just so you know this is just the books that I hope to read throughout the year. But yeah, so the first one is November 9th by Colleen. Being on the Colleen Hoover theme, the next book that I've got is the sequel to It Ends With Us and it is It Starts With Us by Colleen. This is one out of two of the hardbacks that I've chosen this year. Um, and it just says, we'll take it one step at a time, okay? One very slow step at a time, I suggest deal slow steps. Love the cover, love the fact the pages are yellow. Well, at least the outline of the pages is yellow. This, I don't know too much about. I know it focuses on Lily and Atlas, which you will know the characters if you read the first book. Um, yeah, I love, 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 love. Basically, I am excited to read it. I do know um, on Goodreads that people were not as impressed by this as they were the first book, so I don't have high hopes about it. Which disappoints me because I love the way Colleen writes and yeah, I'm sad that it didn't hit the same. However, I'm sure it is still a good read and I am thoroughly looking forward to reading it. And the last Colleen Hoover book that I've chose to read this year, well, to this list anyway, I know I really want to use a lot, but it's Leila. I don't really know too much about it other than the blurb on the back, which I will not read to you, but it just it interests me um i have literally no words to say about it to be honest i looked at all of colleen hoover's books and i want to read them all eventually um especially verity i've seen a lot of people's tiktok reactions and their faces at the end of the book when they realize the plot twist or whatever happens and i'm like I want to know what they're talking about like I want to get to know so my goal is to read all of Colleen Hoover's books eventually but this one I really want to read I haven't seen too many people I haven't good I haven't re went and looked on Goodreads for reviews of it at all I haven't read too much about it I am literally going into this book completely open-minded no expectations other than to be impressed because that's the feeling I that's how I feel when I read a Colleen Hoover novel, is impressed, usually. Um, I have only ever read one, which as it ends with us, is probably why I'm so impressed. But yeah, I'm looking forward to reading Leila. 
not usually the genre I go for. Um, however, I am looking forward to reading out my comfort zone this year and I feel like this book might be the one to do it and I'm looking forward to finding out. So the next book that I have decided to read is You and Me on Vacation by Emily Henry. I will be I will be so honest, I have not heard phenomenal things about this book. I am I'm shocked though because I thought like and this sounds good, like the whole of what it's about, it does sound quite good, quite interesting. And the fact that it just didn't impress a lot of people makes me quite sad. My friend actually gave me this book, Emily, who is also like a book lover and she I literally couldn't wait to finish it and not in a good way. She's like, I can't be bothered reading this anymore, but I'll finish it because I've started it kind of thing. Yeah, so that doesn't fill me with too much faith, but she did say, read it for yourself, find out what you think, and I have took that on board. So I will read it. I have heard Emily Henry's other books are more impressive. I think, what was it? Book Reads or something it's called. I've heard that's like a really good one. Um, and a lot of people's favourite by Emily Henry. I watched Brogan Tate's book video and that's when she was talking about how she didn't really enjoy this one but enjoyed book reads, I think. Oh, I don't know if that's right. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll read it and let you guys know what I think about it. I'm not going into it with a lot of high hopes, to be honest, which a lot of people are probably like, why bother reading it if you've not heard good things? But I do want to judge it for myself and not go off of other people's because, like I say, to me, it does sound quite interesting. And yeah, I just think I think it would. Prior to hearing people's opinions, I thought this could be a really good book. Um, but after hearing people's thoughts and opinions and stuff, even though I'm not letting it influence me on not to not read it, I'll still read it and have a opinion of my own. But. Yeah, I don't have high expectations for the book, unfortunately, which isn't good considering it's one of the books I wanted this year. But yeah, that is the next so book. So the fifth book of my 2023 TBR is Sex and Vanity by Kevin. Really sorry, but I can't pronounce the second name, so I'm not even going to attempt it. I have heard mixed reviews on this, which can be controversial, to be quite honest. I've heard that it's good, but I haven't heard it's like great like I've heard good things but not great things about it um kind of like you and me on vacation I don't know how I feel about this book but again reading the blurb on the back it is something I feel like I will enjoy can't lie I feel like I will enjoy it um again this is another one that Emily also read and kind of said it was Better than you and me, you and me on vacation, but didn't re like reach her expectations. Now I'm not trying to compare like these two books in any way, shape, or form. Just obviously saying what I've heard about it and stuff like that. But yeah, not much, too much to say on this book yet because I don't know an awful lot and I haven't fully read in detail of too much about it. Because like I say, I've tried not to. Even though these books are popular, like some of them anyway. I've tried not to go into it knowing too much about the story, if that makes sense, so that I'm allowing myself to be surprised and react and stuff like that. But yeah, so the fifth book that I'm excited to read is Sex well, and The next book that I have on my list to read, I don't actually have a physical copy to show me because it hasn't been delivered yet, but I will insert a photo of the book cover here and it is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I am really looking forward to reading this book. I have heard unreal things about this book I've heard it's like just amazing like I actually don't even remember the words that people were talking about like using to describe the book and I've heard a lot of people being like if you're only going to read one book this year then make sure it's this one like it's that good so I have very high expectations for this book I am thoroughly looking forward to reading this book I just talking about it I get so excited because I actually cannot wait to read this book um being honest I don't know how I've not read it yet with it being so popular and everybody talking about it and stuff like that but I haven't got around to it but I will make a point of getting around to it this year I cannot wait to read this but like genuinely I think this is the book that I'm most excited to read 
out the full year just because of what I've heard and stuff like that and it's been recommended so many times this 100% I feel like might be my favourite book of the year but that's me judging it now having not even read a single thing about it literally speechless I cannot wait to so read it. The next book that I have decided to add to the list is You've Reached Sam by Dustin Theo I think his name is apologies if that's pronounced wrong um yeah this one I can't remember where I was I think I think I was actually in Asda um and I seen this and don't get me wrong like the cover did catch my eye and I know I know don't judge a book by its cover but I seen it and I knew I recognised the cover and I was like so I picked it up read the back of it and then I also realised the sticker on it and I knew immediately then that I had seen it on TikTok and stuff like that. Um, I think the concept of this book is really interesting and it made me think like if I had to like adapt that to my life like if that, if that happened to me and if I had a second chance at goodbye and just things like that. Um, not necessarily with my boyfriend just like in general a second chance at goodbye with any loved one that's passed and I'm like I feel like this book's going to be good I haven't read it yet obviously I I have mixed feelings about it because I feel like I could potentially go through the emotions with this book which I'm looking forward to doing um I'm quite excited I think this is up there with the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo of excitement levels for me to read it Probably not on the same level, but very close in par about it. I think it's interesting to say the least and I'm looking forward to reading it very much. And I think this will probably one of be one of the first that I do choose to read this year. Um, but yeah, so the next book is your first The eighth book that I'm choosing to read this year is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I have heard really good things about this book, which I know I've said for like every book so far, but it says on the front of it, thrilling, thrilling, beautiful and blisteringly smart. We Were Liars is utterly unforgettable and John Green, best-selling author of The Fault of, Our, the Fault of Our Stars, The Fault in Our Stars, which is phenomenal, by the way, if you've not read that book or watched that film, phenomenal. But anyway, this, I like the cover of it. I like the fact that it, looks like real humans if that makes sense i mean probably it is real humans to be honest but this did win um the young adult goodreads choice awards which has obviously got to speak volumes itself i would imagine um i don't know how i feel about the book i don't know what expectations i'm going into the book having um I'm just really looking forward to reading it and then once I read like all these books have opinions on them and I can like I can share my opinions on these books it's it's killing me not knowing what happens in all these pages yet but I am thoroughly looking forward to reading it and yeah I think again this will be one that I read pretty early in the year. I have five books left on my list and I'm sad about it like I wish I could have a 40 book list and know 100% I'm going to get through them all but I'm happy to stick with my little bundle of 13. Um, yeah, so the next book that I have is one that I've had in my collection for absolutely the longest period of time. I actually can't even remember when I got this book. It's been that long. But I love it. And it is Zero Repeat Forever by G.S. Prendergast. I am probably saying that wrong and I can only apologise. But yeah, this... I think might be the thickest book. No, it's not. <laughs> it's the second thickest book. Um, I like the fact, again, this is not a genre I do read. Um, the cover is to my taste, I'm not going to lie. Um, the back of it just has like, really interesting. It's kind of like, he's no voice or name, only a rank. Eighth, he doesn't know the details of the mission, only the instructions that hum in his mind. Dart the humans, leave them where they fall. His job is to protect his offside. Let her do the shooting until a human kills her. 
and then it's like 16 year old Raven is at a summer camp when the invasion happens. Isolated in the wilderness, Raven and her friends can only stay put and hope to be rescued. Then an axe kills her boyfriend. Thrown together in an unfamiliar violent world, Eighth and Raven should feel only hate and fear, but when Raven is injured and Eighth deserts his, hint, deserts his unit, their survival comes to, de to depend on trusting each other above anyone else. Sounds interesting if you ask me. Um, I do believe there's like, there's some like kind of black printed pages on it, which I like. I think that's like, is that to show the chapters maybe? If so, I'm not 100% sure. I think it is because that does obviously say chapter, oh it says part three, so it's in parts. Right, okay, that's interesting. So this book's in parts, um, which I'm actually... Like I I I don't I don't have a lot to say about it because I'm I'm so kind of mixed about it. Like perfect for the fans of the fifth wave, and I am number four. So if you've read either of the books, then this one I think you'll enjoy. Judging by literally it's saying on the cover, I have I have high expectations for the book solely based on the fact that I've had it for so long. I've always always wanted to read it. Um, and the fact that I'm going to make that happen this year, I'm determined. I am excited about it. Let me know if you've read this or seen anyone read it. I've not seen it in a lot of videos at all um, or really much people talking about it. So personally, I think it is a low-key book. I could be wrong, but I have, like I said, I haven't seen too much about it, seen many people read it. Um, but yeah, maybe I'm just not looking in the right places to hear reviews about it, which is a good thing, because of course, it means I don't know anything about the book. No spoilers, nothing. All I know is what's written on the back, and I am excited to get around to reading this this year. The 10th book on my TBR is The Idea of You by Robin Lee. Um, I love the fact that Taylor Jenkins Reid has had something to say about the book, and I love the fact that it's printed on it, and she just says that this slayed me incredible. And then obviously Vogue had something to say as well. The cover is absolutely stunning. Can't lie at all. Um, and I love the back of it actually made me laugh. Like the top part and it just says sexy enough for the beach, smart enough for the book club. <laughs> and I don't know why I like that so much. But yeah, feel free to pause and read it if you desire to know what it is about. Um, Oprah Magazine said something to say. Like it's just incredible. And I feel like this can be an exciting book um the idea of you i i don't know like this part really captured me this part here when it's like everyone everyone in the world knows his name but it's you he wants and i feel like this is going to be one that's almost like you're kind of you're a fan of the celebrity and the celebrity like wants you but like there's so many fans that obviously want the celebrity that's the vibe i get i could be wrong completely wrong I know nothing about it, which I do love the fact that I know nothing about most of these books, if not all of them, because of it just means that I can go into it with a complete open mind, my own expectations if I have any, and my own kind of idea, no pun intended, of the books. Um, this one I have had on the shelf for a while. I want to say maybe two years I've had this book and it's like I say I just never had the time to get around to it but I have always wanted to read it so I will make a point of reading it this year at some point maybe during the summer months I feel like this could be a good book um yeah so this is the 10th book on my TBR the next book that I have on my list is Charisma by is it Jan Ryan? Jean Ryan? I'm not sure um Basically, the film Nerve, I did watch the film Nerve. I have got the book Nerve, I just never have got around to reading it. Um, I don't know. Like I say, I kind of made my list small and compact to how big it could have been. So if I do end up reading Nerve this year, I'm sure I will let you know about it. But I picked Charisma just because I haven't, like, there obviously there's not a film about it to my knowledge and I like the fact that it's like kind of one dose is all it takes and it's literally I get the same vibes or very similar vibes to Nerve because obviously in Nerve it's like are you a player are you a watcher and stuff like that but this one is like one dose is all it takes are you taking it are you leaving it um that's the back of it if you do want to read it feel free to pause now again kind of similar to the Zero Repeat Forever like cover vibes um 
I haven't heard people speak about this book, I haven't heard a lot about this book. I, again, might not have just been looking in the right corner of the internet for it, but I'm excited to read it. I feel like this is a book I will enjoy. Um, I feel like this is going to be one, if there's going to be a page turner that I'm going to need to know and I'm not going to be able to put it down. That's kind of the vibes I feel about this book and I hope that I'm right. I would love to be right. Um, I hope that I get so engrossed in this book that I don't want it to end. Um, just because that's how I felt when I did watch the film Nerve. Um, I'm quite excited. I don't feel like it will be as good as Nerve, which I know I've got a cheek to compare it considering I only watched the film of Nerve and never actually read the book. Um, but to be fair, I seen Nerve before I knew it was a book, or I would have book I would have read the book before I seen the film because I'm. Um, that kind of person I like to give the book the chance first because I feel like if you watch the film first you're nine times out of ten not going to read the book because you've seen the film you know what happens but yeah if I had not have a had I known Nerve was a book before it was a film then I would have read the book first before watching the film but that's a story for another day. Charisma I am excited about it I only know what it reads in the back I have a fair idea of what it'll be like and like I said I hope that it's a book that I get so engrossed in that I do stick it out to the end and that I do enjoy it. My worst fear is starting a book hating it that much that I'm like I can't finish this this is draining me I cannot get around to finishing this. Don't want to experience that with this book or any book but especially this one because I have high expectations for it. Not sure why I have high expectations for it but yeah I am excited I feel like it can be quite gripping that's the vibe I get from reading the back of it and I'm looking forward to reading this at some point this year. The second last book that I have on my to be read list this year is The Horse Dancer by Jojo Moyes. Um, this pretty much speaks for itself I love Jojo and her books I have read the Me Before You um, a long long time ago but this one caught my eye. I have had it for a wee while now. Um, and it just says, an inspiring love story. And then it just says, a tale brimming with tenderness and romance. And I, this is the thickest book probably I will read this year. But I love horses. So, first box ticked, I guess. Um, I love the fact, I love the simplicity of Jojo's covers and stuff like that on her book. Um, and I love these colour schemes really well together as well but I'm excited to read that that's just a little bit of what it's about if you want to pause it and read probably should have done that with all the books but you can google them it's fine um yeah this is probably I haven't read a book this thick in a very very long time um I like the I like the pages of it to be honest it's got like it feels like nice paper and if you're a fellow book like book reader you'll understand what I mean by that but yeah, this is pretty much about um, kind of horse legend Henry La Lachapel. So saying that wrong, and I'm sorry. Um, teaching up his granddaughter and her horse to kind of like defy gravity and like become what I get the vibe of is become like the next best thing, pretty much. Um, but I feel like there's definitely going to be a plot twist in it, judging by what it says in the back as well. Um. And it's kind of like, some like Sarah's keeping a secret and I'm like, already I read that and I'm like, right, what's the secret? I want to know the secret. It's quite gripping. I feel like I'm going to be quite engrossed in this book and I'm going to forget about what's going on actually in my life when I'm reading this. And that's also what I love to read. It's kind of like an escape for your own world for a bit and you can dive into somebody else's, which is quite nice. Um... But yeah, I am excited to read this. I have no idea when I'll read it. I've got other books in the list that I'm excited for more. But nonetheless, I'm looking forward to reading this book. The final book on my to be read list is probably one that's just so nostalgic. And I love it with my whole heart. Um, and it is... Ant and Dex, Once Upon a Time. I love these boys with my whole heart, not even kidding on. This is a book that I bought when it first got released. I pre-ordered it. It is signed by them. I I love them. I just love them so much. I actually do really like an autobiography and I do have a few people's autobiographies on my shelf. I've got Philip Schofield's, Tom Jones, Frankie de Tories. 
um, Charlotte Crosby's like autobiographies I really like and I know the controversial one is obviously Prince Harry's Spare um, and I contemplated whether I added it to the list I'm still contemplating on it I do want to read it I feel like I'm not the big biggest royal family fan but I would I feel like it could be quite interesting and that's what makes me think I want to read it so I haven't I haven't bought it or anything like that yet but yeah I do love an autobiography I love Ant and Dec even more um and I say nostalgic is because I read their first autobiography um I still have it on the shelf actually but I went through a phase of been absolutely obsessed with these two and I mean obsessed I had t-shirts I had cardboard cutouts, like the love I have for these two is unreal, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I just, this is self-explanatory. I'm reading this just for the sole purpose of the fact that I love them and I really just want to read it. I, now, the thing is, I do believe that I did start reading this and for some reason never ever get around to finishing it. So I want to make it to a point this year of finishing this book. Um, I just love it. Like, I can't explain how much happiness these two bring me. And I'm buzzing for Saturday Night Takeaway. Buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. It hasn't started yet. But I've not decided when you'll see this video. So it may have started. I don't know. But I am so excited to read this and finally finish it. I'm going to read it from the start again. Because like I said, I don't remember where I read to. And... Yeah, I don't even think the bookmark's still in it, to be honest. So it's probably fell out. But yeah, excited to read that. For the, I don't, I say the last book. That's probably, I'll probably read this before I read most of the books on the list because, like I say, how much I love them, and I just, I just can't deal. Like these two melt my heart. They have my heart. I'm not even kidding. I love them so much. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to reading that soon. And this is the very last book of my 2023 TBR and with that being said guys that's my 2023 TBR list I hope you've enjoyed everything that I've shown you in the video today uh, please feel free to uh, let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books what you've thought also recommend a few books not that I need any more recommendations but I can't help myself I'm looking forward to getting back into reading this year hopefully I do read more than the 13 I have set out but like I say I'm not going to put that pressure on myself yet um, I'm just kind of starting, kind of easing myself back into it. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing it. And yeah, I can't tell you what I'm most excited for. I know I did say that I was most excited for The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. But for talking to it, like all of them, I'm excited for it. It's in some length, like I am excited for. So yeah, with all that being said, be sure to smash the thumbs up button. Comment down below a new recommendation or if you've read any of these books you can let me know what you think don't forget to hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any new videos that i upload and i'll see you in the next video bye